The MLB The Show 22 tech test is out in the PlayStation Store, so go ahead and download it right now. Um, as I'm saying this, it is February 16th. The servers are not up yet. The servers will be up on the 17th, but I've seen a couple of interesting things that I thought we should definitely talk about in the practice mode. So uh, right now we're just gonna go over the feel of everything, how it feels to kind of hit, even though it's gonna be offline, we'll still get a sense of how it is, okay? So I haven't opened this app yet. I opened this, this message popped up. I haven't touched anything. So we'll see how it goes right now, okay? MLB The Show 22 first look. So right now, servers cannot be accessed at this time. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Diamond Dynasty Co-op, Custom Practice, Options Explorer. Okay, let me go to settings real quick and get my stuff all right, as you guys know. Um, we'll do Hall of Fame. Hitting view would be Strike Zone, In Play, Medium, Zone, Buttons, I'm sure Options seem. PCI Anchor On. Using L3, set the plate coverage indicators PCI starting location in one of the nine different positions within the strike zone. Okay, so this, as you guys know, some people start their PCI up and in, some people start it low and in, some people start it a little bit high. I start mine in the middle. So this won't affect me unless I get used to it and I start somewhere else and it helps me. I'm gonna leave it on right now because I really wanna see what this is like. PCI anchor dots. Uh, we'll just leave that on. Uh, zones, buttons, make sure all this is right on. We'll go uh, diamonds, wedge, none, yellow, 70%. Um, and that's good right there. Okay, that should all be good. Hall of Fame pinpoint. This, I think it's still strike zone. Pitch trail on. Okay. I don't, we're not gonna be fielding, so let's just keep that as that. Okay, I'm excited to see what this anchor is like, man. It's kinda, it's kinda, kinda strange. I'm guessing we can, oh, we can use all, oh, wow, okay. I didn't think we could use multiple teams. Um, Guardians. Do they let you use all-star teams? No, no all-star teams, okay. What would the best lineup be right now? I'm trying to think of what pitcher. We'll face Garrett Cole. And then I'll use, I'll use the White Sox. We're not gonna play at Dodger Stadium. Oh. Sportsman. Oh, uh, we'll pick Yankee Stadium. 7 p.m. Actually, we'll go 11. And we'll do June. All right, that's what we got right now. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay, right now we got practice options. Let's see if pinpoint feels the same. Does it feel the same? Let's see. I'm not, obviously this is gonna be more of a uh, of a batting thing, but I just want to see if um, pinpoint if they nerfed it at all or what. Okay, it seems pretty similar when it comes to like the rhythm of pinpoint. They didn't mess it up or make it harder. It seems. I don't know, but maybe, obviously this is something that we'll have to try a lot more when the game first comes out. It's kind of boring to just go and, you know, do pulse pitching and lab pitching out. But I just wanted to see if there was any changes with that. It looks, I mean, honestly, it looks like it's a lot more wild. Maybe they nerfed it a little bit. Maybe you can make a little bit more mistakes. I don't know. We'll have to see. But let's get to the hitting part now. Okay, um, practice type, we're gonna go uh, batting, Anderson, we'll use Yasmani the whole time, uh, and I'm just gonna make it where they can throw everything, oh, boom, boom, he can throw everything, start practicing, okay, why do you throw it so fast, wow, look at that PCI, okay, okay, dude, can you slow down? Hold on. Okay, timeout. He's like quick pitching me right now. I'm trying to figure out this anchor thing. 
Oh wait, that's kind of cool. Okay, so what I did is I pressed L3, and then I press L... I don't understand why he is quick pitching me. Okay. Okay, it's kind of hard to lock in, though. <laughs> he is quick pitching me, dude. Okay, so as you can see, I'm more trying to figure out how to lock this in. I'm trying to figure out how to lock it in to where it's... So you press L3. Okay, now it's chilling up there, opposed to just sitting in the middle. Now does it reset after? Okay, it stays there the whole time. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, as you can see, I just switched it to the bottom right. So now the PCI is gonna sit there. I'm not putting, I'm not holding anything as you... Oh, there we go, okay. There we go, I, now he can't quick pitch me. Okay, so I'm holding R2 right now. So I'm pressing L3. Oh, okay, there we go. So basically, before the pitch is thrown, you're gonna aim your stick up and press L3 and then it's gonna hold it in that area of the zone. If you wanna start up and in, you're gonna hold up and in, you're gonna press L3 and the PCI is gonna rest there. Then you can adjust it from there. Okay, so like that, if I start low, I'm gonna start it from every single quadrant of the zone. A guy like me though, I don't know if this is good, man. Like, I don't think this is gonna help me at all. Let's say I go back to the middle. This is me in the middle. You know, a lot, it will help a lot of people, I think. But I'm just not a guy that can move my PCI. Uh, I'm not good at keeping my PCI in one section and over adjusting it. I like to keep mine in the middle. But I will, I will practice all of them though. All right, let's see low and outside. Okay, my PCI wasn't good there, but that actually felt kind of, felt kind of nice. Like, it didn't feel like I was over adjusting too much. Ooh, wait a second. That's kind of nice, that low and outside one. Okay, so yeah, I kind of actually really like, uh... This is what I'm saying. You go to this practice and you kind of just, like, mess around with it. And it might actually help you a lot. He's throwing dots right now, so it doesn't help. Okay, now let's try... No, let's try right there. Oof. Let me try... Let me try a different batter, too. Let me try a righty-righty matchup. Um... Batting... Let's go with, uh... Let's go with Luis Robert. Okay, this is- that was no anchor. Let's try up again. I mean, this seems like it's the only- obviously, once the actual game comes out, I'm sure there will be a- a few differences, but this is actually a pretty significant difference. One thing that I always didn't like about people starting- about, like, the strategy of keeping the PCI up or- or having it in a certain spot was just- once you're holding your PCI like that, it feels like you're premeditating and it feels like you're kind of guessing. And that always, to me, feels like it messed up your reaction to stuff. But just the idea that now you can just leave it there and not be holding your PCI. Because right now, like I said, my thumb's not on the stick, right? But it's resting there. It's, it's chilling there because I set it there. So then you can just go from there and make all adjustments you need. I think that will help a lot with these, uh... Wow, that actually might help a lot. Let me, let me try Chapman. Ooh, I also like that instead of pressing start and all that, if you just hit the touchpad, you go to this section. Now, my dumbass, th that's probably always been a thing, and I just never knew that. Um, low zone, boom. Okay, Chapman, don't, don't quick pitch me, okay? So, against Chapman, he obviously throws a little harder. So I'm gonna start up and in like that and just see how we can adjust to it. Okay, why was that so slow? Kyle, let's get it together. You're in batting practice. Let's hit the f ball, huh? All right, let's go. Let's go back to normal and just get used to this. 
Let's get used to this. Apparently, MLB The Show 22 is not ma made for Kyle. Okay, that was a tank. Damn, Luis Robert has 99.90 versus lefties. Whew. 99.90 versus lefties, huh? Okay. Okay, Luis. All right, now let's start up. Ooh, this could be the move right here. Not too crazy of adjustments. Uh, okay, my early impression is I think a lot of the players are going to be using uh, the PCI anchor. And I think they're just going to be keeping it right there. I think the cool thing about it is you're not over adjusting for from side to side. So it's just small adjustment to high and in. Small adjustment to up and out. And it's also making it where if it's like slightly, uh, those pitches that are super hard to hit that are slightly below or slightly above, it'll make it a lot easier to hit that. You're not just gonna center. Okay, yeah, now we're getting used to it. And now we're just raking. Ooh, this might turn me into an animal if, uh, I really like the uh, slightly up. Oh, dude, okay. Yeah, no, this might be a thing, you guys. This might be a thing. Honestly, because before when I was holding it up and in, I'm holding it there, so it's like a weird adjustment. Now that I don't have to move it to keep it up there, I could just adjust from that middle spot. I also haven't even... Let's try to focus on what the contact feels like right now. Yeah, I think this is the go-to. Ooh, perfect, perfect, sound good. Is that ball staying in, though? That might be alarming. I know it's just a tech test, but a perfect, perfect fly out with somebody with 90 powers a little odd, isn't it? I like that you can still play with your PCI, and it stays there. I like that a lot. You're not messing it up. It's staying there when you, when you move your PCI. Oh, boy. It feels good. All right, let's try lefty lefty. Oh, maybe this will help a lot lefty lefty. Maybe it'll help a lot lefty lefty. Um, is there any better lefty than Gavin Sh Sheets? All right, we're using Gavin Sheets. Um, is it still all zones? Okay. So let's... Oh, wait, you guys. This might be the move. I mean, I still stuck. Oh, he only has 45, 46. There's got to be a better lefty lefty matchup than this, right? You know what? I'm even going to use a different guy. We're going to use we're going to use a different guy. We're going to use Juan Soto. Nationals. Who's the best? Let's go uh let's get Josh Hader. Where the hell did you go? All right, there we go. We're going to try it. hit off Josh Hader with Juan Soto and see if this PCI anchor helps with lefty lefty matchups. Now, should I start up and in with lefties or should I start um, maybe even this is an option because of how many people like to just pound. Oh, that's cool. I didn't have him fall off balance. Okay. I can't put a ball in play right now. Okay. Still going to be terrible. Lefty lefty. It's fine. We bounce back. Okay. Got to be able to put our PC up a little bit there. <laughs> at least it's at least we know it's not gonna automatically make people good if you were bad you're still gonna be bad but um it's all about adjusting to it we hit a tank there okay there we go starting to get the hang of it a little bit it feels satisfying when you hit the ball well though i will say that yeah i think i'm gonna keep my pci uh I think I'm going to be using PCI Anchor this year. And I think it's going to help a lot of people get better. A lot of people. It's kind of a mixture of both strategies, like my strategy and other top players that start their PCI up. Because I like that you could just have a fully rested PCI and then, you know, adjust to it. And they like being able to cheat a little bit to get up to high and inside stuff. This is a mixture of both. You can still cheat a little bit to get to stuff quicker. 
but also you can you know you can have a non-biased movement in your in your fingers see like that right there that my pci is already there so it's so much easier to get to that pitch all right yeah we're starting to make better contact now and fastballs down the middle might not be the hardest pitch to hit anymore the reason uh i feel like the reason fastballs down the middle were hard to hit were because people were making a movement already and so they were off centered from it from now you can go from there and move to the middle because you're started right here you know what i mean see that was the one down the middle did we take it out we were able to hit it out let's let's try low Ooh, that ball ended up right there. I don't see like I know some people do this. And I'm sure a lot of top players will find a way to shut me up when you start low like this. But God, it just seems so crazy because these are the hardest pitches to get to. The fastballs high and in, especially on legend and stuff. Those are the hardest pitches to get to. So why would you go out of your way to be away from that? It just seems so hard to overcompensate to get there. You know what I mean? See, opposed to if you're up here and they throw it up there, the balls that go low, they're usually going to be an off-speed pitch, right? So you give yourself more time. If you start up here and it's an off-speed low, you have way more time to adjust. Opposed to if it's a high fastball up and you're starting low, all of a sudden you run out of time to that's a dot jeez okay this is i mean at least it's good practice for lefty lefty all right now let's try let's try against corbin burns let's see how corbin burns looks with the sinker he should have a sinker and a cutter right he has neither oh this is woodruff oh there we go <laughs> there we go that makes sense I didn't are you allowed to throw balls sir I didn't say you could throw balls okay um let's start up there one soda's hitting attributes aren't as crazy as I thought they would be it should be way more than that okay there's been some ones that haven't left that you would think would usually leave this also kind of changes which control freaks i think i should be using when i play too since you don't have to worry about going up as much maybe it's better to use like a concaved one and if you use a concaved one then you can dip lower i'm still using my green cqc and obviously it looks like i'm still hitting pretty well this might be glitchy boys top kyle may come back this year with this he might if i get used to it Oh, I guess I'll still be doing that because it kind of eliminates the high sinker aspect. You know what I mean? Like if you're worried about high and inside sinkers and you could just naturally cheat there. I really like the feel of this, man. I really, really like the feel of it. Yeah, you guys let me know in the comments if you guys play the tech test. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think about where you're going to start your PCI. How the test initially felt for you guys. There we go, Juan. See, I messed up on that one a little bit. I don't, would that have been a hit? I don't know. Try the new difficulties. There's new difficulties? Hall of Fame, Legend, me. Oh, what the? Okay, look. Wow. Okay. So there's new difficulties too. We have beginner, we have dynamic, amateur, then minors, then rookie? What's amateur? Wouldn't amateur be? Okay. Let's try amateur. Holy sh What the? Is this softball? Boys. Okay. That cutter's floating in air. If that's 96, then I'm 96 years old. What? What is this? Is this if you start at a zero rating and you go from zero to negative 40? 
Is this if you lose 10 games? If you lose your first 10 games, they should put you on this difficulty. Wait a second. What would beginner be then? Hold on. Road to the show is going to be fun this year, boys. <laughs> what the hell is beginner then? That's ignorant. This is ignorant. That's... Look at that! Look at the size of that! I mean, dog. And that's me using power. What's it gonna look like if I just use X? I'm gonna use contact right now and see what it looks like. We're using... We're using circle. Jeez. Look at the size... Look at the outer one. You, it's impossible to not make contact. He could throw the ball in a f heaven and I'm gonna still foul it off if I use circle. Dog, look at the outer zone. Look at the outer zone. Not just the main PCI and the feedback. Look at the outer zone around it. It completely covers like three feet of outside of that. There ain't no way, dog. Okay, so at least there's that. Let's center swing. No matter where the pitch is at. I just used power and center swung there. That's the only pitch he could have thrown where it wasn't going to be in my PCI. Or that. Okay, now he's dotting now that I'm center swinging. Okay, now he's just getting it outside of that. I know, that's what I'm doing. I'm not using analog at all. I'm just center swinging. <laughs> Okay, so that's beginner. We saw amateur. Let's see what minors looks like. Is minors kind of what all star was? Nah, I guess it'd be what veteran was last year, right? The ball was hammered. Does the perfect perfect sound sound the same? Yeah, it sounds. I don't know, but I like it. It feels refreshing. Well, there's a lot of perfect perfects in a row. Yeah, I don't know. It feels... Um, the game feels nice, honestly. I mean, it's a tech test. What could I say? But it does seem a little different. All right. So, wait. It was amateur, minors, rookie, then veteran. Let's see all-star since this is what we'll be on... Uh, on BR and all that. Okay, that ball's significantly faster than the other ones. All Star feels, um, I don't know if it's because I was just on like rookie and beginner and stuff, but um, All Star doesn't seem as like as much of a gimme as it did before. Maybe it's just because it's Corbin. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it a little bit. Probably just overthinking a little bit. Also, balls aren't flying like they were before. Oh, that's a good... Jesus, that's a good pitch. All right, we're going to try out my... Well, first, let's... All right, we're going to try out Mike Trout before we end this. And we're going to see what it's like on Legend. All right, so... Get the Angels. Who should we face? Yankees, Red Sox. We'll face Chris Sale. Okay, so batter, Trout. People are saying they ruined Trout's stance. Okay, let's start on Hall of Fame just to see what it looks like. Um, he seems okay. <laughs> he seems okay. I don't notice a... I think you gotta use a different, uh, you probably have to use a different camera view to really notice Trout's thing. Dude, I'm kind of excited for this year. I'm kind of excited for this year. I needed something like this to actually get excited. All right, let's see. Um, Let's try let's try a different camera to see what a stands looks like now. Let's go zoom. There's nothing wrong with his stands. 
Oh, this. Hey, we're using Zoom the whole year, by the way. Oh, yeah. We're using Zoom all year. No way around it. And we're going to be top three in the world, and we're not going to be second or third. No, I don't mind a stand, so honestly. All right, let's see what Legend looks like, boys. Well, that slider's kind of glitchy. All right, are you just gonna dot my life away? Goodbye. Man, starting up and in is... I mean, starting up helps so much. That would have been a line out and I would have raged, huh? Now I'm curious if... Like, obviously this is helping for the high stuff for me. But I'm curious if they throw, like, low change-ups if I'm going to be missing a... Curious if I'm going to be able to make that adjustment well. Obviously, I'm just going to have to practice. Beautiful. Oh my god, that ball was hammered. How hard did he hit that? That felt so good. And that was right in his wheelhouse, too. So this is on Legend right now. Dude... I love the PCI anchor. I really, really like that. It just feels like I'm gonna be able to kill like the stuff, the high stuff. Ooh, kind of messed up on that one. Oh man, see now I'm getting excited for this year's game because I just want to, I miss the feeling of needing and wanting to win games to like try to stay undefeated and trying to climb the leaderboards. And that feeling of hitting a clutch home run. You know how long it's been since I've felt the need to win a game? We're excited, boys. We're excited. Okay, and boys, let me know in the comments below if you guys don't have access to the tech test somehow. Let me know what players you guys want to see me use in the next videos. So um, when we do do this, I can show you guys some of these guys. Time to go back to MLB 21 after this and not have the by PCI anchor. And I'm just going to be terrible. Okay, we're gonna try one more after this. We're gonna try Fernando Tatis because they said they changed the swing up a little bit. I just wanna end it on one good swing. That sinker's gross, Jesus. If that's what the sinker's gonna look like, that's a good enough swing for us to end it, even though it's not gonna leave. If that's what his sinker's gonna look like and Randy Johnson has that, that might be disgusting on Legend. We'll see. That's a good start with Tatis. 99 power. They said the they said the attributes aren't uh aren't final. What pitches does he have? He has a cutter. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's the only thing about this acre thing is I might be a little worse on lower pitches. But that's fine. We'll adjust to it. It's a lot easier to adjust to the low stuff than the high stuff. I don't. I haven't used Tatis enough to really like know how different the swing is. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't know how people use that. Honestly, if I want to start back in the middle again, I just don't. I don't know how people start it like uh, like to the side. I get. I even get like the like that. If they start it there, that's fine. But I don't like. I would always want my PCI to be in the middle like in the middle this way vertically I wouldn't want it to be on either side but I think this is going to be the move this year I'm still like you could still hit the same way this doesn't force you to use anything it just makes it easier if you want to adjust how other people do because there's a lot of people that were holding their PCI like this without locking it in they're just, and I, to me, that's so uncomfortable. But now you could just put it there and you don't have to worry about holding it. It locks it in. To me, I really, really like that, man. I really, really like that. Yeah, I think this is going to be the move for me. At least I'm starting the year off with this for sure. And the beautiful part is if you decide mid game, you don't lock it, it just put it like that. So easy to adjust. I really like that they introduced that. And what's crazy, it's not even something that I was thinking about. 
I don't think anybody was thinking about having a PCI anchor. You know what I mean? It's just not something you're thinking of, but it was good thinking on their part. All right, and then we're going to end it on that. Yeah, the game feels nice so far. Um, obviously, there's such a small sample size that we have. We, But tomorrow, we'll have the servers up, and we'll see how online feels. But um, yeah, PCI Anchors, huge dub. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to download it, and uh, make sure to leave your feedback on their forums, too, if you guys, you know see something that you think needs improvement or also don't be scared to give them credit on something that they did well you know what i mean if you're gonna be loud on the criticisms you gotta be loud on the props too so that's what we gotta do i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys on the next one it's gonna be a fun year peace